uh, what's this here? The uh, Moo Kitty video exposing streamers and her whole channel got demonetized. Yeah, why, why did she get demonetized? For speaking the truth? Okay, so probably for some bullshit. Watch the video? Okay. Exposing the hypocrisy of Twitch streamers. Here we go. This video is sponsored Jesus by Christ. But remember, nothing I created does can affect the viewer in a bad Bruh. way. Why? Because the only thing that matters is consent. Unless it's train wreck doing 360 million dollars a year by a gamble. Oh, he didn't make. Oh, no, no, no. I think train made. He. Train said that he made 360 million, but he didn't say he made that within one year, though, right? I, I mean, like, that's probably it took him. It probably took him like two years or three years to make that much. Come on. Twitch us is irresponsible kids that can't take their own decision. In this video, I'm exposing the hypocrisy of the world's biggest streamers. Okay. And after my last video, I took a accountability if I go too far. And I saw some comments that said that it was not okay. I want to take this chance to apologize to absolutely ah, no one. <laughs> Come on guys, what is worse? Me calling Cutie a cringe host or her inviting a convicted domestic abuse to her bed? I guess it depends if social status is the only thing that matters. Because then- Well, it, it, it of, bro, oh my God, this video is loud. Like, I, I wish she turned on the background noise because it's hard to hear what she's saying. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, I, I don't think that's really a big deal. I'm not a big fan of like people that have channels that are dedicated to shitting on other people. I think this is just like really not something that's healthy for the platform. However, I, I think that there's always like a gray area between like providing criticism to somebody and like criticizing what somebody's doing versus like just shitting on them and like making fun of them. So I, I do think that there is a line where if all of your content is parasitic and it's being developed at the expense of other people, all you do is shit on other people in your videos. Yeah, I think that sucks. And I don't think YouTube definitely should like really monetize a lot of that stuff. I could see why they would want to demonetize it. I'm not saying this is her. I've seen one minute of this video, but uh, you know, that's what I think. Here we go. My favorite streamer, XQC. He looked at my video disgusted and said that I went too far. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay, okay. dude. Okay. Fuck yeah, yeah. this shit goes way too far. Yeah. Exploitation or objectification? Come on, guys. What is worse? Me using Cutie's two months old crying video or XQC joking about deep fake in his chat the same day? Cutie came out crying on her stream switch and youtube is starting to become the one well i think making fun of somebody for having like a emotional breakdown is different than being able to joke about it on your own like if he's saying those jokes to cutie or making fun of her for it then i think it's a little bit different thing we all hate it's like tv where real reactions and opinions aren't expressed anymore. Only the opinions that the people with higher status agree upon. If you look at the video where XQC reacted to my video, he didn't laugh one single time. I'm not bragging that I'm- I can see why she's upset. By the way, this editor that you're trying to pay You've really got to sit down with this guy before he gets this paycheck and talk to him about volume. You've really got to have a conversation about this. Like, obviously, I think a lot of the editing in this is pretty good, but the volume is fucking awful. This is like the editor only watches XQC and Tyra 1, and it shows. Funny. I'm super cringe. But if okay. you're a juicer like me, you all know it's weird because we all know his humor. This one? Baker Matt. <laughs> this shit goes way too far. Well, of course it's way different. Like, the thing is, 
That's totally fucking different. And, and also, it's not really hypocrisy. What a big surprise that XQC is going to look at it differently whenever it's somebody who he's friends with. This shit, it's common sense. Of course he's going to look at it differently. What do you expect? Hey, what? <laughs> oh, my oh my God, please. I'm so sorry. Ew. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, this oh, shit was way too far. <laughs> What is this? Oh. Jesus, that's actually. That's. Oh man, chat, come on. This shit goes way too far. Hi, Dude. my name is Clay, otherwise known as Dream. Dude, I think Dream is a good looking guy. Why is everybody shitting on Dream? I think he's a good looking dude. Like, what the fuck happened? This shit goes way too far. <laughs> <laughs> this shit goes way too far. If we broke in your house, this shit goes way too far. What was that recommended video? <laughs> just, just this guy. This shit goes way too far. This shit goes way too far. Dude, the best part about this, like, I, I, I'm like, I'll move it, apparently, is like, Amarath isn't laughing at any of these ones that are making fun of fat people. Meanwhile, XQC is absolutely fucking losing it. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so I should have moved this. This shit goes way too far. Images from Chinese oh, no. state media show. Its military has invested heavily in long-range precision-guided weapons that can be used to target ships. <laughs> China's People's Liberation Army. This shit goes way too far. But me joking about cutest cringe award. Maverick's girlfriend and best. Friend, Mr. I think that it was an unfair comparison. People were talking about why is it okay for her to advertise Fansly on the streamer awards. Meanwhile, she doesn't like deep fakes. Oh man. What's the difference between these two things? I think it's fair. I I don't. I don't think it's fair. No. Mean and not okay. Even though I did the same thing she did on a big stage, but she went actually further than me. It How's went that? over people's heads because a person with that many sponsor and viewers uh -huh. can be wrong, or can they? Let's hear the joke. I'm a little bit nervous hosting, hosting in front of this many people. We sold tickets this year. But I'm trying to do that thing where you picture everybody naked. Thank goodness. I recently got a link on how to do that, so I'll, I'll have to use that backstage. She just made a joke about having a link to see everybody in the audience naked. Cute and Ludwig said that the big problem was the Atrix gave awareness to the deep fake. And I think, honestly, that's one of the biggest ups Atrioc did. Caused a whole new world of harm because so many new people were exposed. Uh, who didn't know this? I feel like everybody knew about deep fakes. Huh? So the, what she's trying to say is that because Cutie was drawing attention to it by making a joke about it, that then she's being hypocritical because Ludwig said the problem is... Um, what was it? I uh, said that the problem is drawing attention to it and bringing awareness to it. I, I, I feel like in a way this is true, but it's true in a kind of intellectually dishonest way when it's like, obviously, if you're upset and you're directly affected by this, I think that it's not that big of a, a deal to make a joke about it. And I think it's always like kind of, there's like an unspoken rule. It's kind of like racism and like making racist jokes in the US. 
it's okay to make jokes about your own race, but it's not okay to make jokes about other races. So in general, it's more okay to make a joke about something. It's the same thing as like, you know, people that are disabled, they'll make jokes about their disability. People that are overweight, Gabriel Iglesias makes tons of jokes about being fat, but it hits different probably whenever Dave Chappelle would do something like that. And he doesn't really do that. That's just the way it is. It's generally, if you make fun of yourself or something about yourself, it's viewed better than if it's not. Fluffy, please. Oh, yeah, of course. Bill Burr, yeah. Something like that. Way different. Um, I don't think it's that different. I, 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 and, and again, it's not... Whenever you make a comparison between two things, there's never going to be like a one-to-one. -one. All I'm saying is that I think if you're a victim of something, joking about it is seen differently than if you're not. That, that's all I'm really saying. I think this is a universal thing across like all society. I'm not even saying it's okay. It just it is what it is. This idea and then went out to see what this idea was. But I'm trying to picture yeah. everybody naked. I got a link on how to do that. I'll have to use that backstage. All these media outlets that reached out to all of the girls involved saying. Yeah, and I, I think obviously, yeah, you could say that's that's double standard for sure. I mean, at the same time, though, uh, I don't know what she's about to say here, but like that's Ludwig saying it, not her. Sure. Like, I don't personally, the Atrioc thing. It's like, yeah, it was bad. It was weird. Like, I, 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 I don't know. Like, it, it was like, it was a big deal in a way, but it's so hard to stop deep fakes. Like, how the fuck are you going to stop deep fakes? It's like stopping Photoshop. You can't, can't stop people from Photoshopping. It's impossible. She farmed it. Well, the reason why she farmed it is because she was part of the deep fake video. You've got, I mean, again, like you, you've got to look at this. Like, Cutie Cinderella is not a robot, okay? She's a person. And she went out there, and she was really upset about the situation. And she put that on display. And that's what happened. Like, she got really upset about it. And she went out, and she made a statement about it. Yeah. Like, for sure. Do you want to do an interview? A lot of the girls are like, I don't want to do an interview because I don't want to further the narrative that I'm a part of this. But I'm trying to picture yeah. everybody naked. I recently got a link on how to do that. I'll have to use that backstage. If Atrioc had jerked off uh -huh. to the thought of these men or to their like Instagram. Dude, I don't know. Is it as bad as active, actively pursuing deep fake points? Yeah, it's definitely worse, but we could call my daddies in the Bishop Brick if you want. You could tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Usually you do jokes on your own behalf, like Katie with cancer. Yeah. But Q yeah, yeah, is saying doing what I said. the joke on the audience where victims of this are sitting. Reverse the roles and yeah. imagine if a guy said to the audience full of women that he has a link where he can see them naked. I mean, I could believe... I mean, didn't we just... I mean, we did just... By the way, we did just see a tweet from XQC making that exact joke, right? I mean, I, I'm just I'm just saying, like, we did... She, she showed that herself. So I don't think it's really that out of, out of, out of mind to do. But okay. That's fine. Bruh. We all know he would be canceled. I've made jokes like that all the time. Nobody canceled me. I made so many jokes like this. Oh my god. <laughs> but who am I to have an opinion as a Twitch viewer doing videos on my phone? I'd rather I listen to the phone. socialists in his mansion oh, for millions of dollars this doing charity streams. Spamming ads. IRL streams are so much fun, but like they're just not as good as like regular streams. Like you you can't fucking run the ads like What the fuck did I just say? If you want to support this event Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, so yeah, I mean you can't run the ads. Well, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I mean I've always been of the viewpoint that don't hate the player, hate the game. I don't like this argument that people use against Hassan that because Hassan engages in capitalism and he, 
Look, Hassan spends money like fucking crazy. Like, he buys all kinds of expensive shit. He absolutely does. But I don't think it's a big deal. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if he does it or doesn't do it. It's the system that matters. It's the same reason why I never shit on Train or XQC or Aiden for, for streaming slots. It's because they're just playing the game. They're playing the game. If, if you bully Aiden out of doing it, if you bully Train or XQC out of doing it, somebody else is going to come in and do it instead. It doesn't fix the problem. It just The thing is, all it does is it makes stupid people feel smart without having to solve a problem. So guess what? Everybody does it. So yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of this line of argumentation. I think that you can engage in capitalism as much as you want while at the same time saying that you would rather have more socialism. I, I don't find these two things to be uh, ca counter to each other at all. And this concentrates on the money. Take. Oh, people, people disagree with that? No, see, I just don't... So... You have to understand that this is, again, a this is like a foundational belief that I have. I don't believe that anybody will ever for a long period of time. And it's like super rare. Of course, it happens, but it's super rare. I don't believe that anybody will. And I don't think anybody should be expected to behave in a way that is not beneficial towards themselves. People have evolved for millions of years to survive and to do what's good for them. And I think the moment that you start holding it against people for doing what's good for them is the moment that you live in a fantasy world because everybody is always going to do what's good for them. People are going to vote for what's good for them. Nobody, yeah, and this is the thing, right? You don't care about following your principles, we know. It Well, the thing is that, uh, just shut up, why are you so dumb on these topics? The reason why you think that I'm dumb about it is because you are delusional. And whenever you get older and you have more time in the world and you see more of these things happen over years, you will learn that I will be right every single time. I will continue to be right. You will continue to be mad and nothing will change. Holding people accountable and getting mad at people is just a small minded way to just keep the status quo. It doesn't change anything. Getting mad at Hassan for spending $3 million on a house isn't going to change the way the tax system works. It's not going to do anything. Like, it, it, it's not going to change anything. And I've said this over and over and over again. You should never expect a person not to act in their self-interest. And look, if you disagree with this, and I understand this is a black pill way of thinking. But I think I'm also right. And again, I don't need to prove you wrong because time will prove me right. And it does time and time and time again. Every single time. But it can all be paid back uh, just by getting merch. Chickcamp.gg. There's no sponsor or anything. Am I going to be reimbursed for the firearms <laughs> stream? And then complain to train wrecks about giving a 24 hour ban to Aiden Rock for showing poop to his audience. Mm. Thank you. I don't think your positions have changed so much oh, that you think so it's okay to oh, show oh, minors okay. porn, right? I don't think that's the case, right? How many Wait, days did he get right banned for that off of kick? How many days did Aiden Ross get banned off kick for that? I just wanted to know. So you didn't, you didn't ban him. Listen, did he get banned? So did he get banned? Oh, did he get banned off of kick? He didn't, he didn't even get banned for showing minors porn. Kick? That's crazy. You didn't advise them to fucking possibly ban the guy for showing porn. I do think that the argument that having a fansly sponsor is similar to showing porn is a strong argument. I do. I think that it's the same as like, uh, like if you're, you're advertising a place to get porn is not really that much different than advertising the porn itself. Yeah, I, I actually agree with this. And I think, yes, obviously there are exceptions. However, like in order to click Aiden Ross's stream, you have to click that you're 18 years or older. And I think this is the case with a lot of Twitch streams as well. So if you're clicking the I'm 18 years old and then you see something that's adult content, 
how is this not the exact like what do you think kids aren't looking up porn on on youtube not youtube well they are too uh on google in the same way and they're clicking i mean i was born i don't know about you guys but i was born january 1st 1900 and this is back whenever i was 11 years old in 2001 how many of you guys same thing yeah same exactly yeah i just google boobs it's that simple so i i feel like it's not really fair to hold it against like kick for that in the same way especially whenever twitch has sponsorships for fans like which I think are fine. It's not a big deal. But I think that with the Streamer Awards, for example, which was sponsored by Fansly, I mean, kids watch that too. A lot of kids watched it. Like, come on. I feel like they're, 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 both, they're, they're the same. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. There was no age gate? Maybe there was or not. I'm not really sure. It's all a loop of hypocrisy and you know it. Um, I mean, I would say like, it, it, it's there are shades of gray, okay? But all I'm saying is that both of them are bad. If you want to view, if, if you're, if like, if, if what you're saying is that exposing people that could potentially be underage to sexually explicit content is bad i think that advertising fansly and showing porn are both on the same spectrum it doesn't mean they're the exact same but they're both on the same spectrum strip or uh strip clubs have billboards for decades that kids can see in public how is it different um I think that's bad. Yeah, I don't think that's good either. I mean, like, I'm not, I don't really think that's good. Yeah, it, it's because you can't go in. Number one, yeah, I think that's another really big factor. Yeah, you actually can't go into the strip club. Like, you know, if like some 13 year old shows up at the strip club and he's like, yeah, I, I'm, tw I'm 25. And they're like, okay, yeah, get out, Billy. You know, go back to middle school. So it's like, yeah, that's probably the reason why it's, it's going to be a bit different. However, obviously it's, that's also, like, you could make an argument that's not good either. And and I would be willing to, like, I, I think that's a that's an argument that's worth talking about. Yeah, there's argument, there's billboards for casinos too, bro. Yes, but casinos are the same way. You can't enter a casino unless you're 18 or over. There's not like, oh, it's a kid's casino. Well, I guess there are kid's casinos. It's called fucking Gotti Town and, uh, you know, Chuck E. Cheese. But still. 20 hours. 24 hours? You think you should get banned yeah. only for 24 hours for showing minors? If you think Twitch, if you think Twitch, how would you, how would you react if Twitch literally fucking banned someone for 24 hours only? Now you got pulled on your plan. Oh, I wouldn't care. Personally, I think it's if it's a mistake, somebody accidentally showed porn. Which Aiden, this is not this, this is not the case. But if somebody accidentally showed porn, they get banned for a day. I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, I said that on Twitch too. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm a fucking degenerate, okay? I grew up on the internet. The Forzen thing, it's like, oh, a girl sucking a horse's dick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's a donkey show. Yeah, it was in Clerks too. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal to me. Just give him a 24-hour and then just move on. <laughs> I don't know why everybody gets so upset about this. Now you got one of your main right. fucking main poster boys a kick showing porn to minor. Deliberately showing porn material to your audience that you know may have actual minors involved in it do you think that that is well any audience that you have that's not gated by a uh, like an actual age gate that's like verified like for example if you want to actually stream on one of the cam sites um i, I know this because uh i i uh anyway so basically if you want to stream on one of these cam sites you actually have to take a picture of your face and you have to hold your id up next to your face and you have to submit that, and then they will confirm that. That's why they don't have minors streaming on these websites very often. It's because they have extremely strict rules. It's the same thing with casinos. It's the same thing with strip clubs, stuff like that. It's extremely strict. I would argue that anything online that does not have that level of restriction, you should assume that there are minors watching.
Do you guys think that's fair? Yeah, it should be assumed. Now, to be fair, I would say that the people that are watching Aiden Ross are probably, on average, there are more young people watching Aiden Ross versus watching me, okay? Absolutely. However, I think that it happens either way, regardless of the percentage. Worthy, even if it's uh, plus 18, you think that's worthy of uh, simply 24 hours? Man. Showing porn enters, uh, even if it's your first infraction on the platform, deserves longer than 24 hours. But when his best friend Cutie does an OnlyFans ad, on top of that, sign in using your Twitch account and see which of your favorite streamers are already creating adult content on Fansly. After a Mario Kart ad for this, not a single word is spoken. I think that she's right about this. I think that both of them are advertising pornography and explicit content for kids. I think that she is right. I think that there is a spectrum and showing the porn directly is worse. But you cannot tell me that advertising fansly and then giving examples of streamers that produce explicit content on fansly. I know that they produce explicit content on fansly. They are the ones that, that are up on the screen. How are you not going to how are you how are you not gonna say that's not promoting it? Obscene matter to minors, any transfer of attempt to transfer such material to a minor under the age of 16, including over the internet, is punishable under the federal law. And a free trial of some of our hottest creators. On top of that, sign in using your Twitch account and see which of your favorite streamers are What's already porn? creating adult content on Fansly. Fansly has a while streaming. Aiden Ross decided to go to Pornhub, I guess, to make a point about how you can do anything on the site. Showed porn to his audience, and keep in mind, a lot of his audience is very young. They're minors. They're actual children. On top of that, sign in using your Twitch account and see which of your because in the stream title, I believe he had 18 plus there, which I guess is a, a legal safety net for him to fall back on. Well, I think you have to click the button, right? Do you have to, like, because with, with Aiden Ross, like, you have to actually click the button to see the stream? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I don't see that as being that much different than a porn website. I think it's about the same. Yeah, same as porn website. Yeah. Sign in using your Twitch account. And see <laughs> so it's still. I feel bad about this because the truth is, I think Cutie Cinderella gets so much shit that she doesn't deserve. And I'll give you an example. So whenever she made a tweet and she was looking for a personal assistant, she clarified that she didn't want a personal assistant that had aspirations of making their own content. And people got really mad at that and called her a bitch and trying to like hold other people down, etc. So I really feel bad for like saying anything negative at all about this because I feel like she gets so much shit that she doesn't deserve. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. No, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I was going to make a tweet about it and talk about it, but I just, I, I got distracted. I didn't get a chance to. But I, I do think that, yeah, of course, it, they're going to be about the same. Chat loves eight. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've talked to Cutie Cinderella multiple times. I've met her before. She's been really nice to me, and I like her. I think she's great. So I, I don't want to shit on her or anything like that. And again, this isn't even about Cutie Cinderella. This is about, this is about something Hassan said. So it's not even about her. A very fucking creepy and weird thing to do, especially <laughs> with that audience and on stream. That sign in using your. Oh, it was kind of weird, yeah. I love how so many people don't really seem to understand the truth that people are going to make different rules for their friends and look at things that their friends do differently than things that other people do that they're not as close with. This is the way that 
this is the way things are. I mean, that's just how it is. You can get mad about it all you want, but it's not going to change. That's always how it's going to be. Is this going to be the guy pointing at it? It's got to be the crazy guy. Oh, fuck you. Man, fuck this. I'm not even I'm not I'm not even on the board at all. They don't even put me on the fucking board. Nico's on the board. I'm not on the fucking board. Courage is on the board. He's on fucking YouTube. This is ridiculous. Are you fucking kidding me? Mr. Beast doesn't even stream. Valkyrie's on you. Fuck. Hi, guys. Thank you for watching. A lot of people want to support the channel. Thank you so much. So now I create a link where you can and I am super grateful for every help that I get and everything will be reinvested into the channel so you'll get more and uh, more videos. You gotta get a new mic. <laughs> you gotta get a new mic. And better videos. Bye. Bye. Oh my god. You've never included in any of these things? Maybe you should leave the house more to get included? I was going to go to the streamer awards, but the problem is that I don't like leaving the house. Yeah, that's the thing. And, okay, so you might be the most intellectually lazy person on Twitch. I thought you were better at calling out hypocrisy and shit. Now you're just saying that descriptions are not prescriptions. Just because it happens doesn't make it good. Um... Yeah, you're right. I mean, I just don't think it's really a big deal and it's like not really worth making a video about as it's like some sort of like fucking, uh, y you know, this is some massive fucking crime. I just, I don't think it's a big deal. Of course people are going to do this. I, I don't know. Like, so for me, whenever I realize that something is an inevitable force of nature, I try to just accept the truth in it. I try not to get angry about it. I try not to fight against it a lot. I try to just accept it is what it is. And there's been a number of times in my life where I've had to do that, and it's been awful. But I feel like at the end of the other side, after I, I, I accept it, I feel like I live a much more grounded and healthy, a, a, a healthier life. Yeah, that that's so that that's what I think. I I I feel like it doesn't and I'm not and again, I feel like I've been very fair. Wait, don't read my logs. <laughs> I know. Um I feel like my message here is useless. True, it's your first message. I'm never going to read another one. Please read their logs. I I don't want to read the logs. I, I don't I don't really give a shit. But like the point is that how how does Twitch allow fansly ads? I don't know. I, I find this to be a question. I don't think fans is a big deal. I don't give a fuck about it. You know how I feel about OnlyFans. I think it's great. But the truth is that how are you going to disallow certain streamers to promote their fansly, but other different people that are being sponsored by fansly the company, that's okay. How does this make any sense? Can you be sponsored by other companies that do other types of things? Can you be sponsored by Stake? Can you be sponsored by other things similar to that? No, I don't know. I think that it's obviously a very uh, complex issue. And I think that also there's a lot of moral grandstanding with it. There is. And I think this is why I tend to make people mad is because I don't really do a lot of moral grandstanding about this stuff. I'm just a fucking asshole. And so it just it will take time, but I will make you mad. There's no consistency. Yeah, sure. Would you say Aiden showing his kid audience porn is like watching porn with an adult? No, I don't think it's the same because I think that everybody has a kid audience. So like, let's say you have 1% of people that are uh, underage that watch your stream. Like 1%. So I have 20,000 viewers right now. That's 200 people. You see how that works? Like, yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. And like we have adult conversations on here all the time. Now, I don't think it's okay to just show whatever you want whenever you want to do it. And there should be rules on Twitch. I don't care what happens on Kick. That's that's their decision. But like on Twitch, I don't think they should really have that, uh, etc. But the truth is that anytime 
that you, there's a stream that is on the website that has more than like 3,000 viewers, there are going to be underage people that will see that stream. Well, no kid watches you, Ball, though? No, I do have kids that watch. Um, I have about as many kids that watch as girls that watch. Uh, it's about a 1%. Actually, after the Johnny Depp thing, I went up to 3%, okay? No, actually, that's not true. See, I went from 1% on World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, 2%, and then, oh, we had fucking Johnny Depp. That was up to 3 I think now we're back down to one because a new world. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, uh, all, all I'm really trying to say is videos budget, videos budget TMZ drama farming doesn't deserve monetization the same way paparazzis don't deserve jobs. Um. I think that this the stuff about like promoting fansly. I think that's fair criticism. I'm not a fan of the socialism is when no house. I don't like that. I think that's silly. Um, XQC laughing about different stuff. Uh, it's it like context is different. I can see. I think that's kind of fair. It's like fifty fifty. And what was the other one? Oh, Cutie getting upset about the uh, the, the joke about fucking uh, the uh, the uh, what was it? What was it? The deep fake thing. I think that's like it's like true, but it's not like in line with what usually society standards are. Let's see. This is a good take. Socialism is when no house is stupid. Everybody lives in capitalist system either way. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see here. It uses the hell, the term modest shelter about his house. Yeah, I mean, I think it's funny. It's about hypocrisy. See, like, I don't care about hypocrisy because I know that's just how people are. Like, I think that the, the I think caring about hypocrisy is a small minded thing to do. And I've always noticed that the people that complain and get upset about hypocrisy are always dumb. Every single time they're fucking dumb. Because anybody who is a smart person. Usually, most people's idea of hypocrisy is them misunderstanding something, number one. Number two, most people that are smart, or at least are of average intelligence, know that life is more complex than yes always or no always. So I think the people that focus on hypocrisy are usually just looking for a way to feel smarter than the person they're criticizing uh, or, or make themselves feel smart. Now, I think it's silly. So a girl shouldn't get demonetized? Um, I feel like this is not really all of her content. Like, if I look at a lot of these videos, yeah, some of these videos you could say are parasitic. This one is just a uh, force in watching her video. This is just, I mean, I guess this is kind of the same thing. Um, this is XQC watching a horror game, him rejecting Amarath, like, uh, I, this is, I thought this was, oh man, like, Jesus, I don't, uh, I, I hated how people farmed this, this was weird, um, but other than that, I mean, I feel like the majority of this content is not, it's not really that bad. No, I, I don't I don't really think it's that bad. Like you could say it's parasocial, but I don't think it's parasitic and actively harmful. And I don't think anything in this video was like really bad. Uh, maybe this one is bad. This stream this other streamer awards one is bad. I'm not gonna watch it right now. Maybe I'll watch it tomorrow or something. But like I don't think there's anything that's like really bad in this. There are things I disagree with, but I don't think anything is, like, totally over the line. Would you say it's a pretty recent thing in streaming, or it's expected for big streamers to be moral compasses and role models? 
Yeah, the way that I solve that problem is that anybody who uses me as a moral compass or a role model is going to sail off the side of the earth because it's flat, by the way. Yeah, if, if you base your opinions or like your morality around me, I am a degenerate animal. And I love it. So keep that in mind. Flat Earth confirmed. Let's read a few more of these. What do you guys think about this? Using big videos, baiting streamers, acknowledgers, social gain subs, and respect she's brilliant. That's what a lot of people do. I don't think that's anything unique to her. It's whatever. Do you think video is not done to be taken serious? Plays into narratives and over-exaggerates? Yeah, of course it plays into narratives. It over-exaggerates. I just don't think it's like... It's very hard for me to say that this is a mean-spirited video. I don't feel like it's a mean-spirited video. Like, if somebody makes jokes about somebody, and this is a subjective decision. Like, I'm not saying that I, like, I don't have, like, a fucking, you know, five-point bulleted list about it. This is just a vibe. If I feel like something is mean-spirited, then I think it's bad. And if it's not, I'm generally a lot more uh, accepting of it. That's it. Foxhole devs announced it. No, I, I, saw the, I saw the Anvil game. I watched it, like, two days ago. Video is more criticism than blatant hate. So I think it should be... Yeah, I, I don't think it's that bad. I, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Federal law prohibits distributing for, uh, pornographic material to children, but the fans of the advertisements contain none. So her argument is a subjective moral argument is not a legal issue as she painted it as. I don't know if that's really true. And, like, if, if you... Like, I... Uh... Like, if you had an ad for, like, porn or something like that, and you intentionally tried to advertise on, like, YouTube Kids, I feel like that would probably be an FBI situation. I think it would be. Upper rules apply to platforms outside of Kids of 13. Twitch isn't one. Um... And also, like, there, there's two different arguments. Let, let's assume that you're right about everything you're saying, okay? Let's assume you're totally right. I think that the effect of something matters more to me than the legality of it. I feel like the effect of advertising a porn website is about the same as showing the porn. I think it's... it's, it's, it's and even, it's not as bad. It, it's not as bad. It is not... Showing the porn is worse 100%. But they are both on the spectrum of bad. That's it. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> this wasn't paying as legal as paying as hypocrisy. Yeah. Demonstration for that's overboard. Yeah, I think that there are channels that exist purely just to shit on people. And I'm not a fan of those at all. I don't think YouTube should promote that. And I think at a certain point it becomes bullying. But uh, making a video criticizing another streamer is not always bullying. Like, for example, Dark, Dark Viper has made videos about me... Because he doesn't like the fact that I react to videos. He doesn't like this. I mean, that's his prerogative. He's doing something. I'm doing something. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, but he's dumb. Well, he, he, but what I'm saying, like, he has the right to be dumb. Like, if, if that's what he wants to believe, then that's up to him. Right? I'm not saying he should be demonetized for disagreeing with the way that I do videos. Uh, isn't this really the same type of fair use stuff? H3H3 went over in court. Oh, um, I don't know if it is or not. I have no idea. I mean, again, fair use is a legal defense, and it's not a... Uh, it, it's a legal defense and not like a... Like a preemptive thing. Like, you have to, you have to prove fair use in court feels complicated because only fan fans so have additional perks like relationship with the streamer which will appeal to 13 year old dudes with no experience with actual women i don't really think that makes it that much different personally yeah i can see what you're saying but i think it's still kind of all the same can we watch something fun now i have fun with this stuff i love talking about this stuff i find it interesting yeah i think it's great i know some people it might bother them they might not like it i think it's great i love it it's interesting I like doing things and talking about things that are interesting. That's what it comes down to for, more for me than anything else.